Joe, that's Da. Hi. And uh, if you don't know us, we are a married couple. Been married we? for uh, almost 13 years now. I don't know. Math is hard. And we are transplants in Minnesota. We are originally from Ohio. And we came to Minnesota for my job. I'm a uh, DJ at a Christian radio station in Minnesota. And so we moved up here. And we love it. Yeah. All the lakes and everything. She's a big lake fan. Well, I am too. I yeah, love, I was going to say. We, we both, both love the water. We love fishing and everything. But uh, we thought we'd come on here and just uh, try a podcast where we talk about everyday life as a married couple, things that are going on in our lives, mm -hmm. maybe things that are going on in your life. Uh, and this uh, is probably going to go up on Valentine's Day, 2022. Yeah. And Valentine's Day is kind of special for us because it was the day that God brought us together. Well, again. Again. And we'll tell we'll, we'll well we'll give you the set them up. Tell them tell them the first the first time we got together. <laughs> well, the first time we got together, it was it was a setup. Uh, we had um, some mutual friends at the time thought that we should be together. Yeah. And so they were kind of pushing us together, and I don't remember how we eventually got. You came to you came and saw came a, a play show. that I was in, yeah. And then we met at a coffee shop. And, <laughs> yes, and our couple, first date was at a coffee shop. And the, two days later, it burned down. <laughs> it burned down. That's not the first time something horrible will happen in our. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then we kind of Joe wasn't really pursuing me at that time. It was it was feeling more like a friendship. And then you, he would just randomly be like, hey, you want to go do this? Hey, you want to go do that? And I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> and, and one time I made, I made plans with her, but then I changed the plans and didn't let her know about it. Yeah, well, you invited me to go watch a play, yeah. and then you never showed up to pick me up. Yeah, I don't even know what happened. But, uh, it was Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. I yeah, do remember that. Yeah, I, yeah, it was crazy. Tell so, them who you took to it instead of me. My mom. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> So yeah, so he didn't come and pick me up, and then I got mad, and so then I went to Lorraine, Ohio, where I have some friends that live there, and I stayed with them for the weekend to just get away, and then that following Monday, um, he decided to send me something to work. I stopped by your work. <laughs> I guess, I don't know if I was feeling guilty or, or what at this point, <laughs> but um, it was weird, but... I, being the uber romantic guy that I try to be, I had just seen Phantom of the Opera, the movie. And, and he knew I liked Phantom of the Opera. And I knew she liked Phantom of the Opera. And I said, hey, I'm going to be really romantic. Since uh, I screwed up this date thing, I'm going to stop by her, her office and drop off a single red rose with a black uh, ribbon tied around it. Just like the Phantom leaves at Christine's grave in the movie. That's so romantic. On Christine's grave. It was a grave scene moment. It was a romantic thing. It was a somebody <laughs> was dead moment. <laughs> so anyway, as I said, he wasn't really pursuing me. I felt like, okay, we're just being friends. He tries to drop off this flat, and I get how he was trying to be romantic. However, he didn't even sign the note. He just signed it from, love the or from the Phantom. Yeah, the Phantom. I wish I would have kept the note all I these years. I am the Phantom of the Opera. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so and I you, freaked out at and the you time. Had a stalker at that yes. time. I didn't know about. Before he and I started hanging out, I had a stalker ha situation happening where my dad, who was a cop at the time, had to get involved and had to threaten him and um and not he, me, the stalker. Yeah, not him, the stalker. And he had threatened to do to like mess with me and stuff so i was i was kind of hypersensitive at the time you know and i didn't know this so i was kind of <laughs> i don't know how i ended up ending it with you at the time but we just stopped we just stopped hanging out we stopped i was just like i'm freaked out it was a weird thing oh you messaged me and you were like hey did you get the thing i dropped off i'm like that was from you and <laughs> so then it was just kind of like okay we're done um, so he didn't, he did not know I had a stalker situation. Like nope. I said, we weren't super close cause he wasn't really pursuing me. It was just like, Hey, let's hang out. And I had lots of guy friends at the time. So I was like, sure. And there was just nothing romantic at that time. So I forget it was like four years past Something yeah. like that. and we hadn't seen each other. We haven't messaged each other. And then, um, 
I, right after that happened with him, I ended up having a lot of health issues. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and I had, I had a small brain tumor that was causing migraines and I was just super sick during that time. And so four years later, Valentine's day, I was tired. I was starting to mend a little bit health wise. And, um, I was kind of feeling like depressed because everyone else around me had relationships. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take myself out for Valentine's Day. I'm not going to wait for a man. I'm just going to go have a good Valentine's Day. So I went to a store. I picked out a new outfit. I was feeling myself. And I'm like, let's go watch a chick flick. I'm going to watch a chick flick, get some popcorn, get some candy, sit anywhere I want in the theater by myself. And so I went to go watch um, Because I said Because so. I Said So with Mandy Moore. It came out that year. And I really wanted to see that movie. And so I went to the movie theater on Valentine's Day and took myself out. And then guess who I saw there? Me. I was not there to, at the same movie. <laughs> I was there to watch a, another movie with a friend of mine named Eric, and uh, I saw her in the, in the line, and it was very awkward. Oh, it was so awkward. It was like, hey, hey. how you doing? Been a long What's time. You looking good? Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to go over here. See ya. And you got to realize, ever since the first time we kind of misconnected and didn't, I, I didn't like her. I thought she was a a jerk, and she thought I was a well, weirdo. Well, I am, but you just you know, and and all this now. kind of stuff. <laughs> but then uh, a few months later, I mean, we started texting back and forth. Right. Well, I felt like I needed to apologize to him because I, he didn't know what was going on with the stalker thing. I took it as creepy, extra creepy, because I was kind of going through that heightened situation, and I went through a lot of health problems, and I was kind of right. just I was mending my my soul was mending. You know, God had started working on me, and I was feeling like I needed to clear some stuff up and just apologize to him so he doesn't realize it was all him. Like, because it wasn't. It, a lot of it was with me and what I was going through. So I emailed. I think I messaged you on MySpace. Wow. That, that, <laughs> that really tells you how long ago that was. Day, kids. <laughs> so I messaged him on MySpace and just explained what happened during that time and just apologized for my part of it. And I was, you know, so I'll let you take it away with how you felt about my first how did you feel when I first emailed At you? At first, I was like, say what? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> now who's talking? <laughs> well, all right. I guess, you know, to forgive is divine, right? So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk with her. I'll chat with her. And I kind of checked out her, her profiles online. And, yeah, I, I remember she was cute. Yeah, she was cute. Right, I was cute. So, uh, yeah, I, d I just said, well, you know what, uh, let's let's go out again. Let's, uh, and we went to... Uh, I mean, we chatted for a long time, because I think I messaged you February, March. Something like that. We And then we decided to hook we went, up and meet. And, we went and saw Rent. Well, we decided to go on a date that following October. So right. there was a chunk of time where we were messaging back and forth, back and forth. So it wasn't just like, oh, we started dating in March. No, it was right. like March to... October. It, it wasn't until October where we were just like, we felt safe with each other kind of thing. Yeah. And we ended up going, we ended up going to a friend of mine's house for a birthday party. Well, it was sweet, actually. <laughs> so he was saying, hey, let's get together. And I said, okay. He's like, well, I have a birthday party to go to on Saturday. If you want to go with me, you can. But I would really, I would like to see you before that, you know. And it was, so then he was like, why don't you come to my house and oh. we can watch a movie. And I'm like, okay. And he had never gotten pizza from a place that I loved. And so I'm like, have you ever had pizza from here? He's like, no. I'm like, well, I'll go get the pizza and I'll meet you at your place. And I said, well, I can do either one. Do you want to do a movie or do you want to, do you want me to go with you to your friend's birthday party? And he was like, well, I kind of would like to see you for both, which was the sweetest thing. <laughs> I kept that email. I still have that email to this day. And, um, so he's like, I'd like to hang out with you for both. I'm like, oh, see, that's pursuing gentlemen. And, and so she came over with <laughs> pizza and the movie we watched at my house. The first movie. The first movie we watched together at my house with pizza, Sweeney Todd. It was such a gross thing to watch while you're eating pizza. And I've never seen Sweeney Todd, so he knew uh, he knew I like movie musicals. But I swear, every time to this day that we watch Sweeney Todd, we're always eating. And it's like, why do we do this? <laughs> but it was still a good movie, and I liked the movie. And, the, yeah, and, and then he liked the, the pizza. So. And then the next night, we went to my friends, and that night went good. And we... Uh, no. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I had to stop fast. <laughs> I had to stop fast uh, in downtown Canton, Ohio, and I had to do the, you know, the, 
the the mom thing where she you know you put your arm out to bro- to block the person you know like you're the living seatbelt. Okay, so normally though, when people when you do the mom arm thing, the palm is facing out yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> towards the window. But <laughs> Joe was like, oh, and it was dark, and we weren't didn't know where we were going, and he had to stop real quick because the light turned, and he didn't notice it, and then he went and put his hand palm towards me. <laughs> So I got a little field ski. <laughs> Didn't mean to. It was total accident. But it was field ski in the name of safety. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't think he enjoyed it. I don't even think he realized he did it until I no, <laughs> we brought it up later. No. And then uh, and then the night went well, and we got back. And well, on the drive home, I thought you were mad at me because I was quiet. He and was I was quiet thinking, the whole I was way. thinking in my head the whole way about. Should I ask her to go steady with me? Steady. That, that's how old I am. Go steady. I'm going to give her my pin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we get to where we're going. I'm dropping her off at her car. Meaning I'm like, the whole way I'm just like, did I say something at his friend's birthday party? Did I embarrass and him? And I said, hey, I really like you. Uh, would you want to go out with me again? Yeah. And I said... Do you mind if I kiss you? Well, he walked me to my car. Yeah. In the said, rain. Can I kiss you? And it was a soft rain. And we did we did our notebook kiss <laughs> in the rain. It was actually very romantic. Yeah. It was so, really sweet. So it all started <laughs> on a Valentine's Day. The second day, round. The second round. The good round. So if you are alone on this Valentine's Day, go to the movies. <laughs> Ladies, don't wait for a man. Just treat yourself for Valentine's Day. Get a nice outfit. Get your hair and your nails done. You bed. might see somebody you haven't seen for a while. And maybe Never God will like kindle something and uh, you, you'll find your best friend. You know, God is a God of second chances and he gave us a second chance. He really so. did. And... Mm-hmm. We'll tell you more and more about our crazy life journey as we uh, oh, so much more to as, tell <laughs> as go through this. It's, God's it's brought good. us through a lot of stuff. Yes, but He's good, and uh, He He gave me my best friend in the whole wide world. She takes really good care of yeah. me. Yeah, and uh, we'll introduce you to our kitty cat Cooper and a, yes. and a bunch of other things. So we're two weirdos. If you're a weirdo, come join us. And yeah, let's hang out. Let's if get you to have know questions each other. about us, you can put it in the comments. Yes. Thanks for being with us for the first ever Joda podcast. Happy Valentine's Day.